Alright, here we go. So today we're going to have a look at how to make an animation with the um, frame and frame timeline in Photoshop. So last time we had a look at the video timeline, this time I want to have a look at the frame timeline which works quite differently. So uh, let's start from scratch again, let's create a new, new document. There we go. Uh, I would like to bring up the timeline, so I'm going to go to Window, uh, Timeline, here's my timeline. I'm going to drag it and snap it at the bottom here. So uh, by default it will start creating a video timeline. Uh, we don't have a choice so let's go and do that, create video timeline, there we go. But then we need to uh, change this into a frame timeline. So to do that it's very simple, you click on this three little dots here at the bottom, so I hope you can see it, I'm clicking, here we go. Now we have a new type of timeline and this is called the frame timeline. Uh, so um, we're going to do a little tiny simple animation, a little ball bouncing like we did last time. Um, and uh, so just a few frames, very simple, just to have, a, to have a quick look at how you create an animation. So in this case, um, it works a bit like uh, uh, like slides. Basically, you have a, you're going to create several slides. I'm going to create a new one by clicking here. Um, a few more. So you see, each one of these are, is a slide, and if you click on one of them, you it will display the slide. Well, obviously, they're all the same right now. But you can change each slide's uh, duration. So here, for example, it's five seconds. But you can choose one of the uh, default uh, values or put in your own value. I'm going to put 0.1 here. Um, but let's say I want to change all of the uh, duration to the same one. I can click the first one and hold shift and click the last one. And then click on this again and then I choose, uh, let's say, 0.1, for example, 0.1 seconds. So um, it's good to know at this stage that uh, the, this timeline works actually at uh, 60 frames per second. So that means if you actually choose here to put a no delay, so that means that it's zero seconds. It is not actually zero seconds, it's actually one uh, a fraction of a second which is one sixtieth of a second so you have if you put zero it will be displaying the animation at uh, 60 frames per second now each individual uh, slide again can have its own duration and that's that is very handy if you're doing for example gif animations uh, and you want to hold on to one frame um, it, this will translate really well into a gif animation but we'll see another video how to export uh, those videos. So for the moment, let's just get on, get on with that. I'm going to go for 0.1 seconds for each frame. So in case you wanted to uh, have a specific frame rate, uh, let's say 24 frames per second, if you wanted to have exactly 24 frames per second, uh, you would set the value here, the duration of each frame, at uh, 0 0.04. Um, seconds that would that would generate 24 frames per second uh, speed if you wanted to have a 12 frames per second you would give each frame a duration of 0 0.08 I know this uh, this is a bit you have to do a bit of calculation to work this out but that's the way it is um, unfortunately uh, <coughs> but there you go you can work it out with a little calculator or whatever so uh, let's get on with the animation. For, so to animate you need to specify which uh, layers will be displayed in each slide. That's as simple as that. So let's say I create um, a first slide here. I've got my first slide and this is going to be my uh, background. So I'm going to give this, create uh, just a, a line for uh, the, let's say the ground. I'm going to uh, here create a dark line. There you go. Oh, that's my ground. So that's going to be my background. I'm going to call this uh, BG for background. So um, <coughs> so um, the way it's set uh, by default, I believe, is that every time you change something on the first frame, it will change on every frame. But uh, let's say, for example, I go to frame 2 and I decide to hide the layer. So you see frame 2 is now different from frame 1. 
or frame 3. But if I went to frame 1 and decided to hide uh, the background, then there will be, it will be hidden in every single other frame. So that's a good way to go through uh, the first frame if you wanted to make a change to every every other frame. It's a good way to do it. Or you can also select each frame together. Let's say I select number 2, then I hold shift, uh, select number 4. So that selects 2, 3 and 4 frames. And I decide to, to hide the background. Then those three frames uh, will be affected. So I'm going to bring it back. Uh, <clears throat> so that's to give you an idea how to uh, hide and show other layers. So let's go ahead and create a new uh, layer. I'm going to go create layer 1. Uh, and I'm going to draw a little circle on this one. Just a um, little ball. There you go. That's my little ball. So what happens? Is it, um, is it displayed in number 3? No, it's not. Is it displayed in uh, frame 1? No, it's not. So only is it displayed in number 2. Now, this fact can be changed. Uh, in, um, by that I mean that if you create a new layer, you may want that by default is visible in every slide, or you may want it to not be visible in every slide. So, yes. So if you wanted to change uh, that, it's here actually. Here you can see it says new layer visible in all frames. So if this is clicked on, like now, I just clicked on it, and I'll show you, there's a little sign that appeared here. So that means that every time I create a new layer, that new layer will be visible in every single uh, slide in the animation. But by default, I changed it, and I removed that. So now I'm going to go to um, frame number 3. If I want a different a ball in frame number 3, I'm going to create a new uh, a new layer layer 2, and I'm going to draw a new ball here. So let's say I'm going to draw it here. If I want to see where the other uh, ball was before, I can just go ahead and uh, make it show it, and I can see that my new ball is a bit too big. So I'm going to go and change the size of that little ball. There you go, like this, let's say. And now I hide the other one again. Now I've got two, uh, a beginning of an animation. I've got these two. Yeah. So I'm going to go to number 4 and create a new layer, show uh, the previous layer, create a new position for my ball, like here, for example. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to hide the other one. So now I've got three uh, drawings. Uh, let's say I want to uh, create a new one. So I click here. and let's say that now I want it to go back down so instead of creating a new layer and drawing it a slightly lower I'm gonna just show uh, this one again this layer so I'm gonna go here that's la layer 2 so I'm gonna go to uh, frame 5 hide layer 3 and show layer 2 again so now my ball is going down again from, from frame th 4 to frame 5 it's going down again I'm gonna do the same for the next frame so that makes things simpler. Another way of doing this is just to select the frame that you want to copy. You hit um, this button. It creates a duplicate. You go and drag that right at the end. And here you go. And you can see the animation on these little frames here. Up, 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 up. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm not working on frame 1. Uh, and there's a reason for that. It's because frame 1 as I said before, if any changes you make on frame 1 will affect every other frame. So um, it's good to just uh, work, avoid working on frame on first frame. And you can just get rid of it if you want at the end. Uh, but for the moment I'm just going to keep it there and just work on the other frames. So now I've got five frames. Uh, five frames. I can just play the animation to see what it looks like. I'm going to click here. Up. Up. Okay. It's very simple, obviously. And let's say I want to—I want it to play more than once uh, automatically. So you can just click here on this button here area. You click on it, it's set on once. You can set it for three times or forever. If you set it on forever, then it keeps looping. And if you want to stop it, you just press stop. You can also use the space bar, uh, which is much easier to use. You can hit the space bar, and there you go. It plays. 
So now let's say I want to uh, make some modifications. I would like my ball to stand up in the air a little bit longer. So I could do like I do in other animations. Usually you would double uh, the duration, for example, by adding an extra frame by duplicating it. So that would be by clicking here. And now you would have four and five that are exactly the same frame. And that would make my ball stand up a little longer. But um, there's another way, simpler way to do that. Uh, so I'm going to erase the new one. And the other way, the other way to do it is just to uh, increase the duration of that frame. So for the moment, I've got a duration of 0.1 seconds. I'm going to change it to 0.2 seconds. That means that frame is going to stay on screen for uh, twice as long. And now, uh, up, it stays a little bit longer up there. It feels like it slows down. It's quite nice. Okay. Now um, I would like to create, like I did last time, a little squash image of that ball just squashing as it hits the floor. So I'm going to create yet another new layer. Uh, I'm going to hide hide my current layer. I'm going to create uh, the new layer. I got layer four. Uh, just show the other layer so that I know where the ball is. Draw the new squashed ball. Here we go. Is my squashed ball? hide the layer that I don't want and here I go I can play this now let's see what happens up oh, there you go my sticky squashy ball there you go <laughs> it's very easy to do and that's it that's it pretty much so now uh, if I want to get rid of that blank blank frame at the beginning I can just put that in the bin here press space again and then my animation can play forever so now if you wanted it all to go a bit faster you can select all the frames click on that little button here and change for let's say I find that a bit too slow let's say I can put it for whew, uh, let's move it up to 24 frames a second by entering 0 0.04 duration and that would make uh, I will just need to be careful to double the image that one would be 0 0.08 there we go, and now I can play it again. There you go, it plays faster now. And that's it, that's how you create a simple animation with the frame timeline in Photoshop. So, if you wish to um, see more uh, tutorials, uh, please subscribe, uh, comment, and like this video. This will be very helpful. And um, you should know also that this little a file that I just created will be available uh, only to uh, my patrons on uh, Patreon. Uh, you will have a link in a second to my page on Patreon. Thank you very much and again have fun.